the NBC5 Sports Desk, sponsored by your New England Ford dealers. Finally, all four major American sports are playing at the same time. With the NBA tip-off today, there is no shortage of sports to watch, reinforcing why fall is the greatest season of all. Glad you're with us this Tuesday evening. I'm Jack Main. This is the NBC5 Sports Desk. What a series it has been between the Guardians and Indians. Even as a Boston guy myself, I thought the Yankees would wipe the floor with the light-hitting Guardians. But here we are after two rain delays, a walk-off win later. It's a winner-take-all to move on to the American League Championship Series against Houston. 4 p.m. start from the Bronx. Jose Ramirez trying to will his team into the ALCS. But we got Stanton up with two runners on and a fastball count. And he absolutely deposits into the short porch in right field. I want to find the home run tracker on that one. See how many parks would have gone out. And nonetheless, it's at Yankee Stadium. So the Yankees get a 3-0 lead. And then it's the home run king himself, Aaron Judge. High fly, deep right center field. And that's going to go. Where's Zach Campbell? He's probably out there somewhere. Aaron Judge, quiet all series. But he gives the Yanks a 4-0 lead. It's 5-1 in the bottom of the top of the ninth. Wandy Peralta would nail it down. Glaber Torres gets back Josh Naylor for the rock and the baby. The New York Yankees come back down 2-1 to win the series 3-2. So there's a little bit of a moral dilemma for uh, all these American League fans. Do you root for the cheating Houston Astros or do you root for the, the Bronx Bombers? It's a tough one. Well, here we go. Let's take a look at the updated American League or the entire postseason bracket. Houston Astros now set to face off against the Yankees. Game one is tomorrow. Meanwhile, down in San Diego, the Phillies took a 2-1 win, 2-0 win, excuse me, over the Padres in game one of the NLCS. And of course, whoever wins both of these series go on to the World Series later this month. All right, Boston Celtics tip off from the garden. They welcome, are they honored today Celtics legend Bill Russell. Check out those uniforms designed in part by the late Bill Russell. Jalen Brown is back and he announces himself in a big way throwing down the hammer. But how about Joel Embiid on the other side? He's dialing it up from deep right there. He's trying to get his Sixers to stay with it. James Harden with a circus one footed three. He says he lost 100 pounds this offseason. So good for him for looking good. But the Celtics got a superstar of their own. JT for three, giving the Celts a big lead right there. And then Jalen Brown with the dagger. Celtics win 126 117. Joe Mazzulla's first win as a head coach since 2019 when he was at Fairmount State. That was in the uh, that was in the Mountain East Conference quarterfinal. Shout out Marshall for that one. All right, it's time for us to step aside. But when we come back, UVM men's soccer had their annual big rivalry with the Dartmouth Big Green. We've got highlights from that game coming up on the other side. Now the NBC5 Sports Desk, sponsored by your New England Four Dealers. Welcome back to the NBC5 Sports Desk. Thank you for sticking with us. Let's shift our attention to the local scene now, where the number 10 Catamounts men's soccer team welcomed an Ivy League foe Dartmouth to Virtue Field for the second-to-last home game of the 2022 season. The annual rivalry matchup, let's call it the, uh, the 89 series. Let me know if that sticks. All right, first half right here. Matt Black is going to get his feet taken out from underneath him, and... Take a look at the keeper here. He's like, what did I do? You know exactly what you did, son. And now you're going to have to try to stop a penalty kick from Noah Egan. And, well, ball don't lie, right? Egan with the PK. It's one nothing. Cats. Take you down now into the later part of the first half. How about Sebastian Gabbert with a beautiful cross pass to Garrett Lilly. His first of the season, 2-0 Cats. That was so pretty, it warrants a slow-motion replay. Yeah, top tank right there for Lilly, his first of the season. How about a great save right there from Nate Silvera? He played on his toes all night. He helps the Cats get the shutout. UVM wins their, just their second all-time game against the Big Green 3-0. I'm... I'm happy about it, but you know those are rankings. You know we got to be focused on each game at a time, and um, what whatever decision comes down at the end of the year, you know when our you know conference championship is over, 
you know, we want to make sure that we've taken care of business uh, in each game um, to put ourselves in the best position um, for postseason play. Ball, South Burlington High School having senior day for their boys squad. About uh, Ryan Sweet right here. Check this play out. Little fake and then spike. Ryan Sweet, the senior, getting celebrated today with his mom in the crowd. Wolves would win the first set thanks in part to this nifty play right there from Awash Prasad. He would put the ball where they're not. Wolves take the first two sets handedly. And then the final kill right there from Botha puts it away. SBHS wins it in three sets. Big senior day dub. Look at the dance moves. I think Alice Kang dances like that uh, in the commercial break. All right, <laughs> play of the day, Kyle Schwarber, Kyle from Waltham. 488 feet in the postseason. You guys remember when the Red Sox didn't re-sign him? He left Bryce Harper speechless. 488 feet. My goodness. If Tyler extends his arms, I bet he could hit one 488 feet, too. So. I was on a softball team one year. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Is this a good story? I don't hit the ball like that. Usually if I hit it, it goes in front of home plate, I run. You, you, you're, you are a Little League guy. I mean, that's not that far to hit a home run over those fences. Yeah, but I'm not on the field. I'm behind the mic. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Uh, tomorrow we've got sun for a lot of the time, which will be nice, but chilly. Some clouds, more clouds, I should say, over northern New York. If you're wondering, because of the warm weekend we have coming up, the lake temperature, oof, down to 57. And look at that's the uh, well, that's the last week. It's basically flat at about 57. So we've lost a lot of warmth in the water there. But we'll have an air temperature of 65 on Saturday, almost 70 on Sunday, and even into next week. Summer weather. Mm. My shorts are dusted off. I'm ready. Yeah. I'll forget my shorts. Let's oh go. boy. All right.